let's take a look at how to open and save files using software applications. The software application that I'm going to use is going to be WordPad. To open the WordPad application, click Start, then type in WordPad in the search box, and then hit Enter or click on it. Now I'm going to copy and paste some text that I want to save. When you're done, we now want to save the document. To do that, you can either click on the Save button or the Save As button. On this program, there's quick access to the Save button on the top bar. We could also get to it by clicking on the blue tab, then going down to the Save or Save As. Since I have not saved this document before, when I click the Save button, it will do the same thing as clicking the Save As button. You can see that the Save As window that opened looks pretty similar to an Explorer window that we have been using in previous videos. The only major difference is that on the bottom, there is a box to enter a file name and a drop down list to select the type of file. Let's first find a location on the computer to save the file. Since this is a text document, I want to save the file in the Documents folder. Remember that the Documents folder is located under your User folder. Now that I have a folder selected, we need to change the name of the file to something related to it. Remember that creating a good name for a file is a good practice to get into. That way we will be able to locate it more easily. I'm going to name this one Test Document. After I have typed in the name, I will now need to select a Save As type. For this file, I'm going to select Rich Text Format (RTF). I could also save the file as a text document, but if I do, I would lose any of the formatting that I might have done to the document. For this document, I have obviously not done any formatting to the text, so it would not make a difference. I'm going to select Rich Text Format and click Save. Now I'm going to close the WordPad application so that I can show you how to open the newly saved document. The first option would be to open the application that we used to create the document and then open the file with the application. To do that, let's open WordPad again. And then go back to the blue tab at the top of the screen and this time click on the Open button. On my open window, it opened right to the Documents window, and all I have to do is click on the file to open it. If it does not open to the correct location where we saved the file, then we will need to navigate to the location of the file to open it. To open the file, either click on it once to select it, then click on the Open button, or just double click on the file. I'm going to go back to the blue tab to show you a shortcut to get to the file. Since this is a Windows program, you might notice that on the right, there's an area that displays the recently used documents, and since we just used the document, it is displayed there. You might remember that in a previous video, we showed you how to use jump lists to navigate to frequently used files. In order to do that, all we have to do is right click on the program icon on the taskbar, and the file is displayed under the selection on the list. Remember it's a good habit to save your documents often, just in case of a power failure. Windows does have a feature that will auto save your documents just in case something was to happen. But if you're fast at typing, then you'll want to save more often so you don't lose the work that you have done in between each autosave. The keyboard shortcut to save your document is Control S. To use this, just hold down the Control button on the keyboard and tap the S key once. You can also use the Save As button to replace or overwrite previously saved documents. To do that, I'm going to create a quick document. Now I'm going to save that document using the Save As button. 
I'm going to save and replace the document as test document that is in the documents folder. Select the document that you want to replace and then click save. When you overwrite a document with another document, you will be prompted with a warning that wants to make sure that you want to replace that document. If you are sure, select yes. If we look at the name on top of the document, we can now see that we are in the test document and we have replaced all of the previously saved content. All programs that create files will allow you to open and save them in the same way. The open and save button will normally be located under the file menu at the top of the program.